Hello everyone, my name is Jojo. Welcome to my channel Joy Root Jojo. It's a video tutorial series on Intune. In our previous videos, we have learned how to enroll, automatically enroll devices into Intune. What are compliance policy? What are conditional access policy? How compliance policy work along with conditional access policy? And how to, en how to onboard the defender for endpoint to the devices? So all the all that we have covered in our previous videos. If you have not watched yet, please check the description or the end screen. You can watch all those videos. And please watch those videos first before watching this video. And as usual, if you like it, please do subscribe and like the video. And if you have any questions or suggestions, please mark it in the comment section. All right. So in this video, let us learn what are configuration profiles in Intune. What is configuration profile in Intune? I want to help you to understand the concept of configuration profiles in Microsoft Intune. It's important that you are going to handle an environment of different uses and devices and the configurations that are going to be out there. You have to think about the requirement of your company. What is it you are trying to achieve? And then from there, know exactly what type of scenarios we can put it in place with Intune that's going to solve this problem. And I think configuration profile is going to be a huge helper when it comes to this. But first of all, what is configuration or what are configuration profiles? Configuration profile that are probably one of the most powerful thing we have in regard to controlling things in our environment. Just like, you know, uh, when Windows NT came came out back in 90s and they came out with the concept of policies and then when windows 2000 came out in the year 2000 they introduced gpo group policy object and that was you know flat out probably most powerful thing we had as a administrator in microsoft domain for controlling configuration settings on people's machines we could enable disable things but of course that was always geared to his Windows and Windows based systems. And in tune, as you are aware, it, it is not just a Windows based system. It works with Windows, it works with Apple, it works with Android, and you know, they move to the Linux supporting in certain aspect of it. And we need to be able to have a solution that are going to allow us to manage the different type of settings and parameters and you know options that are going to be available for uses within that devices and within that operating system this is exactly what configuration profile bring to the table all right so the idea here is that i can create these things called configuration profile and they can be created for different type of devices and in your operating system like ios ipad os android windows all of that and then i can assign the configuration profile to the uses and the devices that i want this to go out to so ultimately what happens is those profile settings get deployed out to my devices and i can monitor the devices to make sure that the profile settings and all that have gone out properly all right so let's talk about some of the usage examples here as part of your mobile device management mgm solution use this configuration profile to complete different tasks intune has many templates that include group of settings that are specific to a feature such as certificate vpn email and more so some so some profile examples is like allow or prevent access to the bluetooth on the devices Create a Wi-Fi or VPN profile that gives different devices access to your corporate network. Manage software update including when they are installed. Run Android devices as a dedicated kiosk device that, that can run one app or run many apps. And on iOS, iPadOS and macOS devices allow users to use AirPrint printers in your organization. So all these are some of the examples of profiles. Even uh, those who have worked as a Windows administrator, you can you can know in group policy we have got n number of policies there, like to set the wallpaper, 
restrict the access to the control panel or to install the, we could install uh, softwares like google chrome installation is possible through uh, group policy even we can restrict uh, synchronization of google history to the uh, google server and caching the passwords uh, caching the uh, history so all these we can restrict it in the google chrome and there we we could we have thousands of uh, policies there in uh, group policy so when it comes to intune we we do have all that prop, almost all the uh, policies that is available in group policies is the same is available in intune and we have more more than that and there in group policy we can access we can we can control only windows based system but in the case of uh, but when it comes to intune you can access windows based system uh, mac os ios android devices and linux in some point of in some aspect uh, you can even uh, you can control even linux machines so that's what the exact difference between the group policy and intune group policy has a limited area but in the case of intune it is it has got a huge area so main options when we creating a profile device profile allow you to add the configuration settings and then push these settings to devices in your organization you have some options when creating profiles like administrative templates we could see the same administrative template in gpo in group policy if you are familiar with how to use admx policies in uh, gpo it is very easy for you to man uh, manage in microsoft intune and there is something called baseline on newer windows devices this baseline include uh, pre-configured security settings so you can enforce this baseline you can harden the server harden the devices for the security and there is something called setting catalog Setting catalog is on a newer Windows devices. Use the setting catalog to use all the available settings in one location. For example, you can see all settings that apply to BitLocker and create a policy that just focus on BitLocker. And we have something called templates. Uh, when creating the profile, we do have all these options. So when we are setting, uh, we are, when we are creating profile, we do have all these options like administrative template, this line setting catalog and templates now i can just show you a configuration profile that i have created to restrict control panel access on devices so to uh, uh, get the configuration profile you have to click on devices scroll down you get configuration under manage devices you get configuration click on configuration and here you can create the profile so you could see your for uh, a profile that I have created here, and uh, this is the profile which I have created to restrict the control panel access. So if you click on that, you could see the settings here from the administrative templates. We were discussing these administrative templates and setting catalogs, all that we were discussed in the in our theoretical area. So now when it comes here, so from the administrative template, what I have done, I have uh, automatically shows that option there, prohibit access to the control panel. Is a setting so we have enabled it we, in the coming video we will see the practical uh, part of uh, configuration profiles in much more deeper then goodbye